everyone. This is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. Today, we're going to be talking about selling your product to Burlington Coat Factory. So if you have a great consumer product that you think should be on their store shelves, this little training will give you some things to think about in regards to selling to Burlington Coat Factory. With that said, let's get started on today's training. So Burlington Coat Factory is an off-price discount department store. Essentially, they have over a thousand stores they're responsible for as of now. That is tremendous buying power. If you've ever gone into their stores, they have clothing, accessories, gifts, a lot of the stuff that you would see in a department store, a lot of off price, so discounted and so forth. I like to create these trainings just to give you some feels for some retailers you might not have thought of selling into to give you not only strategies, but also ideas as to maybe you live on the West Coast and you never have been into a Burlington. So these are just little trainings to help you think through where you could possibly sell your product to. They sell consumer electronics. They sell, again, accessories, jewelry, all sorts of different types of products. If you haven't been in one of their stores, definitely go check them out. So with a thousand stores they're responsible for, they are tough to get into because everybody wants to sell to them. Many years ago, I used to sell to Burlington and it was a, one of the tougher accounts that I've ever worked with because they're a private company. They are definitely stringent on who they work with. And also they work with a lot of people who, um, you know, they've done business with for years. It's a very established brand. Doesn't mean you can't sell to them. It just means we need to give you some strategies and tips to think about in regards to selling to them. So let's talk about some ideas. First of all, a lot of their products are private label in their stores for certain product categories. That means that if you are interested in selling your product to them, you might need to sell your product to them through their private label company owned brands. That basically means that your branding will not be on their packaging. It would be their name, their company on their packaging. And if you're willing to do that, there's a lot of money to be had, particularly jewelry and accessories. It's a big category for them. They're always looking for new products to put on their store shelves. Probably not going to have your name on the packaging uh, and or any bits of that because that's how they make a lot of their money. They sell products under their brand name. They do a lot of discounted stuff. So how it works is Burlington would go. And if they approved your product, you would sell to them as a manufacturer. And if there's a deal that's inked, then they would tell you where to go to get the packaging. And that would be part of their system, their setup. So uh, they'll tell you where to go and that's how they do it. They typically don't go out and source their own products. They work with companies like you to get that job done. So that is something to consider. Some of you are very serious about having your name all over the packaging. If that's you, it's probably not going to work out. But there's a lot of categories in Burlington um, where they expect private label. And if you're willing to do that, it could be many, many millions of dollars to your business and your bottom line. So private label is the way to go. There's strategies around how to get the private label buyer to buy your product. This is just more giving you things to think about of how to get in the store through different ideas. Uh, the other thing to think about is that Burlington focuses a lot on diversity. Diversity is a big thing with their customers, and uh, they're in a lot of different sections throughout the United States. It's a different audience a little bit. And so if you are a diverse supplier, they would love to know about you. It's actually the ability to get you in the front of the line of selling to a retailer like Burlington. Why? If their customers are diverse, then they want you if you are diverse. And so the way that would work is you would get certified if you can as a diverse supplier or minority owned company, women owned company and so forth. How you do that is if you're a woman owned business, you own 51% or more of the company and you're a woman, you could go to a um, certification organization like WeBank, WBENC.org, WBENC.org, that's one opportunity for you. Or if you are a minority owned company, you own 51% or more, go get certified at NMSDC, NMSDC.org. And both of those organizations are just examples of places you can go. You have to fill out some forms, a few hundred dollars. They're pretty stringent if you are a woman owned business. They actually come to your home, your office. They really are going to look to see if you really are. Um, a woman-owned business because a lot of men 
utilize their wives for that uh, certification because they know how much gold it is, right? You get a lot of government contracts and certain things as well as retail contracts, big organizations are interested in diverse suppliers. So in that case, what we want you to do is make sure that you are able to prove that. Um, other than that, once you fill out the forms, you can go to Burlington and let them know that you are a diverse supplier and they love that. That's just another angle. If you want to learn how to approach pitch and sell Burlington Coat Factory, we have exact strategies on how to do that today. These are just a little quick nugget, uh, nuggets of gold to help you get into these stores. If you want to learn more, click on the links below. You can go to our website, retailmba.com. That's retailmba.com. And we would love to support you in getting your products in the stores. We have services where we go after stores for you. We have do-it-yourself programs. We'll help you get into stores yourself, give you the exact words to use. And we've taught well over 100,000 people on how to approach pitch and sell the retailers through our systems. Karen Waxman, Retail MBA. Hope this gives you some ideas and things to think about in selling to Burlington Coat Factory. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you'd like to know how to approach pitch and sell to retailers, please take a look at the links below. You can take a look at retailmba.com. We work with people who want to do the work themselves and go after stores themselves, or we work with people who need some additional support where we actually help you understand how to go after stores, and then we do the work for you. There's a lot of opportunity for us to help you wherever you are in your business as well. We work with every product category at every stage of your business. Um, so if interested, please take a look at what we're up to, retailmba.com. Otherwise, like, subscribe, comment. We appreciate you, and thank you so much for your time. Karen Waxman, Retail MBA, and we are honored to be here with you today. Thank you.